This is indeed a historic mission in a quest for peace. And I could say that our mission really revolves around 10 key elements. The first one is that we are here to listen, to listen both to President Zelensky and tomorrow we'll be listening to President Putin. And we do so with deep respect for the people of Ukraine, which we have expressed to President Zelensky, but also in recognition of the proposals that they have put forward as a peace formula. We're going to also listen to President Putin with regards to how he sees the road to peace. This war must be settled and there should be peace through negotiations and diplomatic means. There must be a de-escalation of the conflict. Today, as we were here, we heard of missile strikes and those types of activities are not good for fostering peace. There must be a guarantee for security for all countries. The sixth element is that both countries must ensure that there is movement of grain and fertilizers. What has also brought us here is that Africa is also feeling the negative impact of this war our grain prices have gone up and there's a shortage. Fertilizer prices have also shot up. So even as we are thousands of kilometers away as African countries, we are feeling the impact of this war. And we say that when it comes to things like grain and fertilizers, there should be an opening up of the logistics so that grain and fertilizers must get to the market. But we want to engage so that a peaceful solution is found. So we welcome President Zelensky's openness that there should be further engagements. And as African leaders, we stand ready and willing to have further engagements. Thank you very much.